Loss of hydraulic system B. Hey, we have a master caution. Have a look and check what it is. Okay. I have control. It's hydraulic. Low pressure light illuminated. It's from the engine driven pump. From what system? System B. Canceling the master caution. Roger, let's read the hydraulic pump low pressure checklist. Hydraulic pump low pressure checklist. Condition. The hydraulic pump pressure is low. Hydraulic pump switch. Affected side. Off. Off. Checked. Note. Loss of an engine-driven hydraulic pump and a high demand on the system may result in an intermittent illumination of the low pressure light for the remaining electric motor-driven hydraulic pump. Roger. Hydraulic pump low pressure checklist complete. Thank you. Please, let's check the hydraulic system indication. Okay. The hydraulic quantity looks normal. And the pressure is normal as well. I see no restrictions for us to continue the flight. I agree. Master caution again. I have control. Flight controls. Check what it is. Hydraulic. Now I see the system B electric hydraulic pump illuminated as well. Flight control low pressure light is also illuminated, right? Yes, and also the field differential pressure light. It seems we are loosing the hydraulic system B. I'm canceling the master caution. Okay, autopilot A is engaged. Let's read the loss of system B checklist. Loss of system B checklist. Condition, hydraulic system B pressure is low. System B flight control switch. Confirm, standby rudder. System B flight control switch. Confirmed. I'm moving the switch all the way up. Yaw damper light is illuminated. Roger. One more click. Standby rudder on. Checked. Canceling the master caution. Roger. System B hydraulic pump switches. Both. Off. Off. Checked. Plan a flaps 15 landing. Set VREF 15 or VREF ice. Note, if any of the following conditions apply, set VREF ice. That's not the case today. Agree. Plan to extend flaps to 15 using alternate flap extension. Note, the drag penalty with the leading edge devices extended may make it impossible to reach an alternate field. Roger. Check the non-normal configuration landing distance tables in the performance in-flight QRH chapter or other approved source. Roger. Do not arm the auto brake for landing. Use manual braking. Okay. Note, inoperative items, autopilot B enop. Autopilot A is available. Flight spoilers, two on each wing. Enop, roll rate and speed brake effectiveness may be reduced in flight. Roger. Yaw damper, enop. Okay. Trailing edge flaps normal hydraulic system, enop. The trailing edge flaps can be operated with the alternate electrical system. Alternate flap extension time to flaps 15 is approximately two minutes. Roger. Leading edge flaps and slats normal hydraulic system in op. The leading edge flaps and slats can be extended with standby pressure. Once extended, they cannot be retracted. Roger. Auto brake in op. Use manual braking. Okay. Normal brakes in op. Alternate brakes are available. Roger. Engine two thrust reverser, normal hydraulic pressure in op. Thrust reverser will deploy and retract at a slower rate and some thrust asymmetry can be anticipated during thrust reverser deployment. Roger. Alternate nose wheel steering in op. Normal nose wheel steering is available. Okay, 
Checklist complete, except deferred items. Roger. Although the loss of a single hydraulic system does not mandate an immediate landing at the nearest suitable airport, this video will demonstrate the aircraft returning to the departure airport and performing the deferred items from the non-normal checklist during the approach. For checklists containing deferred items, time permitting, these items may be reviewed in advance so that pilots are familiar with the procedures they will need to perform later. The deferred item procedures will be read again at the time of execution. The briefing with the cabin crew, as well as communications with the passengers and the company, are considered complete. Flight level 220 set. Mach 76, level change. Retard MCP speed. Checked. With the hydraulic system B inoperative, the required landing distance is 3,900 feet, and the distance available is greater than 12,000. I'm selecting flaps 15 for landing, okay? Okay, you can also select the ground proximity to flap inhibit. Okay. Flaps 15 and flap inhibit selected. At this point, the descent checklist, including the approach briefing, is considered complete. Keep in mind that an adequate briefing is essential for the safe conduct of the approach. Transition level, set QNH 1010. 1010 set. Reducing the speed. Roger. 250 set. Checked. Approaching 10,000. Lights on, fasten belts on. On. And on. Let's read the approach checklist. Altimeters. QNH 1010 set. Approach checklist complete. I will start to reduce the speed now. Roger. Speed 220 set. Checked. Let's start extending the flaps. Continue with the checklist, please. Alternate flap extension. During flap extension, set the flap lever to the desired flap position. 230 knots maximum during alternate flap extension. Roger. We are maintaining 220. Alternate flaps master switch. Arm. Checked. Note, the landing gear configuration warning may sound if the flaps are between 10 and 15 and the landing gear are retracted. Okay. Note, the amber leading edge flap transit light stays illuminated until the flaps approach the flaps 15 position. Okay. Note, operation within the lower amber airspeed band may be needed until the leading edge transit light extinguishes. Got it. Warning, if flap asymmetry occurs, release the switch immediately. There is no asymmetry protection. Roger. Alternate flaps position switch. Hold down to extend flaps to 15 on schedule. As flaps are extending, slow to respective maneuvering speed. Additional deferred item. Ground proximity, flap, inhibit switch. Flap inhibit. It's set already. Now select the flap lever to one and extend the flaps to one using the alternate extension. Flap lever set to one. Extending the flaps. We have flap one. No asymmetry. Flat one speed set. Checked. Leading edge devices are fully extended. Roger. Let's request a hold over Ogmo. Okay. Executing. Checked. Flaps five. Flap lever to five.
We have flaps five. No asymmetry. Flaps five speed set. Checked. Flaps ten. Flap lever moved to ten. Extending the flaps. We have flaps 10, no asymmetry. Report ready for the approach. Affirm. Captain, we are clear for the approach. Stand by only for the landing checklist. It's going to be a flaps 15 landing with no auto brake, okay? Okay. Gear down. Flaps 15. Flaps 15 already. Let's read the landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 15. Green light. Loss of system B landing checklist completed. 1,000 configured. 1,000. Checked. Captain, reverser number two will deploy slower, and it will be a manual braking, OK? OK, thank you. Now let's see what the procedure would be in case of a go-around. Flaps will be maintained at the 15 position and retracted only when workload permits. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Go-arounds that go-around thrust. Thrust set. Positive rate. Gear up. Set L nav. L nav set. Autopilot A command. One thousand to level off. Check. MCP speed altitude acquired. Flaps 5 speed is set. Checked. Altitude hold. Let's start retracting the flaps. Flaps 5. Flap lever moved to 5. Retracting the flaps. Flaps approaching five, I will set up speed. Roger. Flaps five, no asymmetry. Set flap lever to one. Flap lever move to one. Flap one, no asymmetry. Flap lever to up. Flap lever move to up. Trailing edge flaps are up. Leading edge devices are fully extended. As expected. Alternate flap switch moved to off. Checked. Let's read the after takeoff checklist. Some important information good to keep in mind. The alternate flap extension switch is spring-loaded to the off position only when the flaps are being extended. When the flaps are being retracted, the switch is held in the up position. For this reason, it is very important to properly manage the aircraft speed. In the event of a go-around, there is no need to rush to retract the flaps. If performing an approach with both engines operating and using flap 15 for landing, Use flaps 15 during the go-around. When maneuvering the aircraft, always monitor the minimum maneuvering speed indicated by the top of the yellow band. This speed corresponds to the actual flap position. Note that the flap maneuvering speed displayed on the speed tape is based on the flap lever position, not the actual flap position. Only reduce speed after confirming that the flaps are properly extended 
and there are no asymmetries. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and safe flights.